Earth is a breathtakingly beautiful place, but it has its terrifying aspects, especially the ocean, which covers more than 70% of our planet's surface. While the ocean's beauty is undeniable, venturing too deep can be hazardous. Not only is the pressure crushing, but it's also home to monstrous sea creatures, many of which remain largely unknown to science. From the spine-chilling Pompeii worm to the eerie spaghetti monster, here are 20 mysterious underwater creatures that have been caught on camera. Number 20. Blob Jelly An underwater camera captured this massive unidentified sea monster off an oil rig, and it's unlike any other sea monster that you've ever seen. It almost looks like floating fabric or plastic underwater, and if it weren't for marine biologists, we would have never imagined that a literal sentient waterbed mattress exists thousands of feet deep in the ocean. This mysterious ocean blob left many people on the internet bewildered and astonished. If it weren't for the organs seen on the jelly's body, many would have probably concluded that it was just a piece of plastic or net floating in the ocean. Experts believe this creature could be either one of two giant jellyfish species, Stygiomedusa gigantea or Deepsteria enigmatica. Both of them are rarely seen because they live thousands of feet underwater. The color of this mysterious creature and the Stygiomedusa gigantea, also known as the phantom jelly, is similar, but the lack of bell and the blanket-like body of this unknown creature leads many to think that it's a Deepsteria enigmatica. Some people also claim that it's neither of the two and that this floating blob is a whole new species. Whatever this creature is, it really looks quite freaky, and it's hard to believe that such a thing exists underwater. Now it's time for today's topic. This isn't just a tale of a creature found in the deep sea. This time, something truly terrifying washed ashore. On a foggy morning in November 2023, beachgoers at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, were stunned when they stumbled upon the carcass of an unidentifiable creature washed up on the sand. It wasn't a whale, it wasn't a fish, and it certainly wasn't anything anyone had ever seen before. The massive creature, dark and scaly, stretched over 30 feet, with spines running down its back like something out of a prehistoric nightmare. Its enormous head and wide, glassy eyes sent chills through those brave enough to get close. Locals quickly called in marine experts, who arrived within hours, visibly perplexed by the strange specimen. They struggled to classify it, with some suggesting it was a mutant deep-sea species never documented by science. As rumors spread, theories began swirling. Some speculated the creature had risen from deep within the ocean, disturbed by seismic activity, while others whispered about government cover-ups of a creature long hidden beneath the ocean's depths. While officials collected samples and transported the creature away, the question remains, what else lurks in the abyss, waiting to surface? Number 19. Hagfish The hagfish, also known as slime eels, are known to be the most disgusting animals in the ocean. I think saying they're the ickiest animals on the whole planet is a bit of a stretch, but I'll let you decide that for yourself. The hagfish looks like an eel, and they have four pairs of thin sensory tentacles around their mouths to find food. By food, I mean the carcass of creatures underwater. There are 76 known species of hagfish, and they live in cold waters around the globe, usually in depths as deep as 5,600 feet. Depending on the species, the hagfish can be only several inches long or as long as four feet. These creatures don't really see well, but they have an incredibly developed sense of touch and smell, which they use to navigate and find food. Their eating habits are what make these creatures disgusting. They've been observed to hunt live fish before, but their most preferred way of eating is by devouring dead and dying creatures on the seafloor. These guys will often bury themselves into the carcass and eat the dead creature from the inside out. Sounds gruesome and horrific, but it's an incredibly important process. Hagfish and other creatures with the same feeding habits are practically deep-sea janitors that help clean and recycle the dead animals on the seafloor. Competition may be tough in the abyss, but the hagfish has no problem skipping meals. In fact, they're known to survive for months without eating, thanks to their incredibly slow metabolism and to their super skin. Not only do these creatures breathe through their skin, but they can also absorb nutrients using their skin. Now on to the awesome part, or should I say, on to the ickier part. The hagfish is known for its ability to produce copious amounts of sticky, gooey slime. They use this to repel or escape predators by either slipping past them or clogging the gills of their attackers with the slime. But despite their bad eating habits and their sliming tendencies, the hagfish could be the fiber producers of the future. The slime they make is known to contain tens of thousands of incredibly thin protein threads, which can be useful in making nylon or plastic. Number 18. Magnapinna Squid The Squid of Nightmares. Imagine you're swimming in the ocean, and you suddenly see this in the distance. Anyone would freak out after seeing its body, which is extremely disproportionate compared to its long tentacles. If this creature's appearance spooks you, you don't really need to worry because they're elusive creatures that live thousands of feet underwater. The first sighting of the Magnapinna squid was in September 1988. 
it was spotted by a submersible off the coast of northern Brazil at an incredible depth of 15,535 feet. They've also been observed at depths of 7,000 feet deep. So unless you magically gain the power to survive the crushing pressure of the ocean, you don't need to worry about encountering these guys. You'd be surprised how long they are, as their arms and tentacles can measure up to 20 feet, while their bodies are only up to one foot long. That means their arms and tentacles are 20 times longer than their bodies. But that's not all. Some specimens of Magnapinna squid are about 26 feet long. For comparison, just imagine four adult males stacked on top of each other. Because we've rarely seen them, we don't know much about these long tentacled creatures. Little is known about their feeding behavior. We don't know whether they utilize their long tentacles and arms when feeding or if they just passively wait for tiny organisms underwater, like zooplankton, to bump into their arms. Number 17. Rat Tails. Introducing the rat tails. They're small, they're weird, they're creepy looking. Rat tails, or grenadiers, are creatures that are only about 46 to 65 centimeters long. They're usually gray to grayish brown when they're young, and they slowly change to a darker color as they grow into adults. They live in deep waters ranging from 300 to 3,700 meters deep off the coasts of the North Pacific. Their habitat ranges from northern Japan to the Bering Sea and even as far south as northern Mexico. One thing you'll notice first about rat tails are their weird eyes. They're deprived of sunlight, and they live in a place where food is scarce. To survive, they'll use their big bluish eyes to spot the tiniest sign of light or bioluminescence, which literally translates to living light. Aside from their eyes, they also use their sense of touch and smell to find food, especially rotting meat. They're known as scavengers that typically feed on decaying matter on the seafloor. Despite living deep in the ocean, there have been several times when rat tails have been accidentally captured by clueless deep sea fishermen. When that happens, Anyone who sees them for the first time usually freaks out because of their huge eyes that are extremely out of proportion with their tiny bodies. Number 16. Feather Star. Just because it looks like seaweed or coral doesn't automatically mean it's seaweed or coral. Take, for example, the Feather Star. These guys look like freaky underwater plants with their branch-like appendages. But in reality, they're echinoderms, just like starfish, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. These stars usually have five feathery arms that give them the radial symmetry that other echinoderms are known for. Some of them can have more than five arms, though, and it's really mesmerizing to see these creatures moving around, especially with their explosion of arms. Aside from their arms, they also have legs that they use to perch on sponges and coral, where they usually like to stay. While they're perched on something, they'll busy themselves by feeding on tiny drifting organisms and particles. Just like a plant, they passively stay in an area where they can filter food. Their appearance isn't the only cool thing about them. Since some of them literally have 150 arms, they're not scared to lose one or two of them if they're feeling threatened. They won't hesitate to deliberately lose an arm or two if it means they'll escape whatever creature they're afraid of. After all, they can just fully regrow the arm they lost in about a month. Pretty cool, right? Number 15. Pompeii Worm. The temperature in Florida can reach up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit at its highest. On those days, people amp up their air conditioners to withstand the heat. For humans, that temperature can be pretty uncomfortable already, but not for Pompeii worms. These fascinating creatures are one of the most heat-tolerant animals on Earth. They were discovered by French researchers in the early 1980s. Needless to say, they didn't expect to see a group of worms living near the hot hydrothermal vents along the seafloor, where temperatures can reach as high as 176 degrees Fahrenheit. They grow up to 5.1 inches in length and are usually pale gray with red tentacle-like gills on their heads. To this day, we still don't completely understand them. All we know is that they chose to live on top of hydrothermal chimneys more than 8,000 feet underwater. But what's their secret to surviving the scalding hot temperatures of the water? For one, their fuzzy appearance isn't just for show. This woolly worm has a fleece-like layer of bacteria that helps it insulate its body. Without this thin layer of bacteria, the Pompeii worm can only withstand water that's about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. I guess these guys unlocked the secret of how to survive even in one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. Number 14. Sea Cucumber I know that this looks weird, but there's no need to freak out. This is nothing but a weird sea cucumber swimming in the ocean at depths of more than 300 meters. Looking at this creature will definitely make you think that there's no need to search for aliens in outer space. After all, we can easily find them thousands of feet below the surface in our oceans. Because of its weird appearance, this particular genus of sea cucumber is called Inipniests. It's earned some weird nicknames too. Headless Chickenfish, Headless Chicken Monster, and my personal favorite, the Spanish Dancer. These creatures can grow to be between 4.3 to 9.8 inches long, and they've developed webbed, swimming, fin-like structures around their bodies, which let them swim up from the seafloor and reach waters as close to the surface as 3,300 feet. 
With its weird appearance, you might think that this creature is a voracious carnivore. But luckily, this headless chicken monster is still a sea cucumber at the end of the day. Just like their other kin, they live by feeding on waste particles, algae, and sometimes small invertebrates underwater. Number 13. Ninjin. This creature was spotted by an underwater camera belonging to a Japanese research team. You can see in the dark water a creature with a round face and two big eyes. To this day, we still don't know what creature this is exactly, but this clip made waves on the internet and started the hypothesis that a creature named Ninjin exists deep in the ocean. Over the past few years, many people have believed that the Ninjin roamed the world's oceans, particularly in the icy waters of the Antarctic. These creatures are said to have an irregular shape, and they can choose to have legs whenever they want and use them to walk on land. Their exact size is debatable, though, as some records claim they're gigantic, while others say they're only several feet long. With the number of creatures in the ocean, I really wouldn't be surprised if this creature turns out to be real. Number 12. Bloody Belly Comb Jelly We're not done yet with the strange jellies in the ocean. These creatures can be found at depths of 1,200 to almost 3,000 feet deep. These macabre blobs look like strange alien creatures with crimson bodies. The diffraction of light on their cilia makes them look like they're shimmering as they move, which is kind of hypnotizing. Bloody belly comb jellies come in varying shades of red, but their stomachs always come in the same blood red color. This may be so that they can hide their guts to protect themselves. After all, these creatures eat bioluminescent prey, and if they're not careful, their glowing gut just might attract predators. I know that they look nightmarish, but luckily, these crimson jellyfish only grow up to 6 inches long. Number 11. Psychedelic Medusa This brightly colored jellyfish was spotted at a depth of 1,015 meters near La Perguera, Puerto Rico. This is definitely another oddball among the jellyfish that we know. It's quite trippy to look at these creatures while they're moving underwater. They have weird moving tentacles that reach out 360 degrees around their bell, ready to sting any prey that comes within its radius. These guys are incredibly mesmerizing to look at. In fact, researchers gave them the fitting name Psychedelic Medusa or Psychedelic Jellyfish. Aside from their 360-degree stingers, they have another weird characteristic that sets them apart from other jellyfish. Most jellies reproduce simply by releasing sperm or eggs directly into the water. The fertilized eggs then hatch into tiny, free-swimming flatworms, which will soon mature into jellyfish. However, the psychedelic medusa is one of the few that gives birth to live young. That's a pretty rare trait for a jellyfish. Number 10. Sarcastic Fringe Head You're probably wondering if there's an actual creature named Sarcastic Fringe Head. I know it sounds more like a made-up insult name for someone, but this creature very much exists, and it really fits its name. Meet the Sarcastic Fringe Head. I know he looks weird, but trust me, he ain't the weirdest creature that lives in the ocean. These guys live in relatively shallow waters than the rest of the sea creatures in this video, but we'll get to the freakier monsters in a bit. The sarcastic fringe head is big-mouthed and has quite the attitude. Male sarcastic fringe heads in particular are quite impressive. They're known to open their incredibly large mouths in the direction of their rivals, and from there on they'll engage in a who has the biggest mouth contest. This is how they compete for mates and how they protect their territories. Males don't just stop by showing off their mouths full size. They also try to intimidate their rivals by almost crushing their mouths into each other. After this bizarre showdown, the smaller one of the two will be the one to step down and leave. In short, these guys don't really fight. They just look at each other and decide who's going to be the winner. Little is known about these creatures regarding their feeding habits, but with the size of their mouths, researchers assume that they feed on squid eggs and other similar food. Number 9. Giant Squid There's a lot to unpack about giant squid. They're one of the largest and most elusive creatures underwater, and we've only had a few chances to study them. This picture is the first ever giant squid that we've ever captured. This giant creature was captured in 1874, and just to show how large it is, look at it barely fitting inside a bathtub. Much about these creatures is a mystery. We know that they can grow up to 59 feet long, but since we've only observed quite a few of them, there might be larger specimens out there. Their eyes alone are the size of a dinner plate or as big as a man's head. The first recorded live squid was captured by researchers off the Ogasawara Islands. The team successfully pulled a 24-foot squid to the surface. Just imagine a squid almost as long as a London bus. Their anatomy is pretty similar to typical squid, but they are much, much larger. Normal-sized squid can easily grab prey with their tentacles, but giant squid are on a whole new level, as these behemoths can snatch prey up to 33 feet away using their two feeding tentacles. Along with their range, 
They're also equipped with sharp-toothed suckers to easily secure their prey. But how strong are these creatures? Are they as monstrous and threatening as many believe them to be? To be honest, we aren't quite sure yet, but we do know that their strength isn't that terrifying. Smaller squids are known to possess immense strength, but based on their muscular structure, density, and fluid composition of the giant squid we've studied so far, they aren't very strong. But they still can pack quite a punch, especially when hunting other underwater creatures. So how long do these guys live? Scientists think that they only live up to five years, and in their whole lifetime they only get to reproduce once. This means that they have an exponential growth rate in a short period of time. This suggests that they eat voraciously underwater to get enough nutrients to support their rapidly growing bodies. Number 8. Northern Stargazer By looking at this picture, I think it's easy to determine why the Northern Stargazer is included in this video. Who wouldn't be intimidated if they see a face sticking out of the sand that looks as menacing as this one? If you don't like their appearance, don't feel too bad because the majority of the population agrees with you. In fact, Northern Stargazers are listed as the ugliest fish on the planet. Their names may sound dreamy. In fact, a part of their scientific name even literally means one who aims at the stars. Sounds sweet, right? Well, that's about the only dreamy thing about these creatures. They have flat bodies, extremely large heads, and weird eyes that always seem to be gazing upwards. They're also quite small, only growing up to 22 inches in length at their largest. They only average around 8 to 18 inches long. Northern stargazers live at the bottom of deep open waters, where they hide and wait for the right opportunity to grab small fish, crabs, and other crustaceans that pass by them. These guys spend most of their lives buried in the sand with only their eyes exposed. This is just the way they hunt, but they're often captured looking like grumpy old sea creatures. In my opinion, there's a perfect reason why these creatures belong in the deep sea. It's interesting to learn more about them, but I think they're better off left alone. Number 7. Vampire Squid Meet the Vampire Squid, the creature from hell. With its crimson color and demonic look, it's easy to see why researchers gave them such a menacing name. However, the vampire squid is only a vampire in name and not in nature. They're not blood-sucking creatures, and they're also not interested in being a predator. Instead, they spend their time using the sticky cells on their tentacles to get food particles in the ocean at depths between 2,000 to 3,000 feet or more. But just because they don't hunt doesn't mean they aren't monsters. They won't hesitate to show the large spikes under their cape-like arms whenever they feel threatened. Their spikes make them look like a monster from outer space, and I've never been more thankful that they're only 12 inches long and live thousands of feet deep in the ocean. But their spikes aren't their only defense mechanism. In case they really need to escape, just like most squid, they also have the ability to expel a substance. Instead of black or blue ink, which is useless in the dark depths of the ocean, they release particles of bioluminescent material, confusing their predators. Like most deep-sea creatures, there's still many things we have yet to discover about the vampire squid. Who knows, we might discover more about them in the future, but I guess it's better if we leave these menacing guys deep down in the ocean. Number 6. Bony-Eared Assfish This fish may have quite an uncouth name, but trust me, this fish has been the butt of jokes before, and it's not as offended by its name anymore. The bony-eared assfish is an odd-looking fish found in tropical and subtropical oceans at depths between 3,800 to 14,000 feet. These creatures have almost jelly-like bodies due to the high pressure and lack of food in their homes. Moreover, they have the smallest brain-to-body weight ratio among all vertebrates. Not really a good description, but again, I don't think they mind. Despite being only up to 14 inches long, they're still quite monstrous to look at. They have weirdly shaped heads, tiny black eyes, and extremely thin, whip-like bodies covered with spines. Some researchers even went as far as calling them glorified tadpoles. Number 5. Predatory Tunicate I don't know about you, but there's something extremely unnerving about watching this creature move. The predatory tunicate really looks like something that shouldn't exist. This species lives most of its life anchored along the deep sea canyon walls and seafloor. They're ambush hunters that wait for tiny animals to drift by. They keep their mouth-like hood open, and once a clueless fish wanders inside, they clamp it shut until they're ready to feed again. Does this feeding behavior remind you of something? You're correct if you guessed that the predatory tunicate is like an underwater Venus flytrap. Lucky for us, these ambush predators only feed on zooplankton and other tiny sea creatures. On top of that, they also live in depths of 660 to 3,000 feet. Because of their sneaky and spooky appearance, they're also known as ghost fish, 
Although other sea creatures have also earned the nickname, this goes to show that the ocean is a terrifying place filled with scary creatures. Number 4. Spaghetti Monster From a sentient blanket, we now have sentient pasta. Introducing the spaghetti monster that lives thousands of feet in the ocean. Quite honestly, this creature looks like a sad lump of bad pasta rotting at the bottom of the ocean floor. They might look like jellyfish, but they're not. This bizarre-looking creature also isn't named Spaghetti Monster, but Bathyphysa conifer. But hey, that's quite the mouthful, so I'll just stick to Spaghetti Monster. After all, the creature got its nickname because it resembles the satirical deity of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. If you're not familiar with the context, that's a story for another time. This Spaghetti Monster is a species of siphonophore, which means they're a colony of many genetically identical organisms called zooids working together as one big organism. Because they are multiple organisms living together, each one has a duty they need to do. One of them may specialize in catching food and eating, while others are busy reproducing. Each zooid making up a single spaghetti monster needs each other to survive. After all, they're only good at a single thing. If they feed and eat, they can't reproduce and vice versa. Number 3. Japanese Spider Crab I bet some of you like the idea of eating fresh crab, but if you're not used to seeing the Japanese spider crab, you wouldn't even think of trying to eat them. These guys literally look like the sea monsters featured in an old sci-fi film with their huge legs and small bodies. They can be found in the northwestern Pacific Ocean at depths of 660 to 1,800 feet. It's quite odd to see these guys underwater. Their carapace usually grows up to 12 inches across, a stark contrast to their gigantic, limber legs that can be up to 12 feet from claw to claw. The reason for this is that their claws continue to grow even as they reach adulthood. The Japanese spider crab kind of looks like an underwater spider, and many people get shaken by its appearance. However, they're the perfect example of don't judge the book by its cover. They may look like they're ready to jump on your face and take out your organs, but spider crabs are gentle creatures. They're slow moving and spend their time walking on the seafloor. I guess that's why they have such long legs. They can't swim, so to compensate, they're extra efficient while walking on the seafloor. All these creatures eat are mollusks, algae, and small marine invertebrates, but usually they prefer to just scavenge and look for dead and decaying matter along the seafloor. Number 2. Squidworm You're looking at a newly discovered species found in the deep sea between Indonesia and the Philippines. This monstrous being is like an unholy fusion of worms, squid, and jellyfish. However, according to research, they're just all worm despite their name and appearance. That's right, this creature is classified as a worm, which means it's related to earthworms and leeches that we usually see, but they're more monstrous because of the ten long tentacles on their heads. The squid worms we've collected so far are incredibly tiny, ranging from 2 to 9.4 centimeters. Aside from the bristles lining their body, this worm doesn't really have any other vital attributes. It's a slow swimmer and doesn't have any defense or attack mechanisms. Aside from its strange appearance, it's no predator. Instead, it's a filter feeder that eats any small matter sinking down from the upper ocean. I'd have to say though that unlike worms found here on land, the squid worm has a weird charm. It's mesmerizing to watch while swimming with their tiny appendages that look like rowing oars. Number 1. Barrelai Fish If I ask you where the eyes of this creature are, you might say that they're above the creature's snout. However, its eyes are actually inside of its transparent head. You see those green orbs inside? Those are the eyes of the barrel eye fish. These creatures live at extreme depths of almost 3,000 feet below the surface in Pacific waters between Japan, the Bering Strait, and Baja California. Like every other animal in the world, the barrel eye fish have learned to adapt to their environment by changing a few things about themselves. This includes their eyes being on top of their heads, encased with a transparent, fluid-filled membrane. Their eyes point upward at a 90-degree angle, and it's shaped just like a barrel, which explains how this fish got its name. Their eyes are filled with green pigment to filter out green waves from surface light to help them see their bioluminescent prey. Barrel eye fish can be pretty opportunistic at times, and they spend their time looking upwards, waiting to steal food from a predator passing above them. We've rarely seen barrel eyes, so we know quite little about them. To this day, we still don't know how long they live, their behavior, and their mating habits. These creatures are truly unique, but which one spooked you the most? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. Don't forget to check out more cool content appearing on the screen now, and I'll catch you in the next video.